let's go let's go let's go welcome back to another one of shay's reactions so why is liona and gay now out here in these streets straight frauding we all know that they frauds but for y'all to keep on with this is is ridiculous now but at the end of the day as much as i am so tired of sitting here posting you guys making you guys even content but you know what? I'm doing this for a cause. And the cause is to free Robert Hampton, the innocent bystander, the innocent person, the innocent parent, the innocent husband, the innocent everything in this whole situation. Okay, so that's why I continue to do the things that I do. Okay, so you guys all know, Liona's been out here. Everybody knows she's been frauding about her husband abusing her. Her husband um, cheating on her. Okay, her husband basically uh, emotionally and emotionally abusing her. Okay, she's been frauding about that. Her whole existence and everything, her whole separation was a fraud. Okay, but not only are they frauding about the separation, she's out here with her mistress. Yeah, I said her mistress because she's still legally married. Everything is not closed, shut, sealed yet at all. But she's out here with her mistress trying to really, they could, they can't do nothing about his Facebook and stuff. It's, it's but so much they could do because everything that he's doing, he's making sure that he cover his behind. So they can't ruin him on that aspect of life. So they decided to go through his child again. Not only, I thought this was played out, I thought they was over this. And not only was, did I think they was over this, he was getting his daughter. So, not only on top of him getting his daughter, now we're stopping the process of their divorce being complete is Brianna Hampton, because she's still carrying his last name, doesn't want to obey by the visitations and the stipulations that he put in play. Okay, but yet y'all on social media after court and all of this other stuff, y'all on social media and trying to portray this man like he want to be a deadbeat and when the story don't even go like that. But <laughs> I'm going to continue to have my foot all on y'all necks. It doesn't even matter. Lie on the gay now, uh, queen op, uh, blue face, whoever, whoever is up and is stuck and what's up. But let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get straight to it. So, Gay now posted this about 13 hours ago, okay? He basically posted a, a meme on, face, on Facebook. He put, her, we have agreed for you to pick up your daughter. We have agreed for you to pick your daughter up every weekend. He put him, basically Robert Hampton, absent father. Oh, no, where he go? Um, and I can't read the rest of the things because you see the comments that's in front of that. But y'all playing with this man because you know at the end of the day that this man been from the beginning was all about his daughter, been about his daughter and all about his daughters, both of them, not just one. And he loves his children. Okay, but y'all is trying to make money off the situation. And why this story is so touching and why it hurts because this story definitely hits close to home. Because I remember when I was in a situation with my child or whatever when I was going back and forth with my mother for custody of my child and stuff like that. And how I knew I was doing all the right things and how I knew what I signed my rights over for just to, you know, just to be everything to be closed shut and sealed so my kid wouldn't know anything or whatever happened or whatever situation even though I knew I could fight it and I knew I was innocent but I was trying to protect my child and in the in the process and in the midst of everything that went wrong you feel me so that's why I feel bad and that's why I'm definitely on this subject, on this topic, and I'm definitely going hard on this right now. Because y'all teasing this man, y'all violating this man. At the end of the day, he don't want you, Jezebel. He don't want you. He knows who the higher power is. He know who brung him through his cancer. He knows he got awakening. He got the light. 
He got the angels. He got the everything riding behind him. Okay, and you being a devil and gay now being a devil, y'all, y'all, y'all trying to show his daughter that he don't love her or care about y'all uh, or care about her. Uh, let me rephrase that. My bad. But remember what I say: you guys shall reap with y'all, with y'all sow. No good shall come out of this. God knows their heart. God knows his heart. God knows the truth. And whoever is being truthful in this situation, baby girl Amora will be in. Or if not be with, she will understand. And one day she will realize who was the real narc and who was the real bad person in the situation. It's sad it will have to unfold like that. But yeah, at this point, Okay. Look at my world. I love you, Momo. Most and you know why it hurts. And why I feel this and why this shit is just so real. Because I remember posting videos, posting when people were saying I was a deadbeat. People were saying, oh, Shay was this, Shay was that. And all I was was trying to just do the right thing and get my kid back from some people who couldn't get their way. Some stubborn ass adults. Want to be children, but adults. Okay. That was living backwards. That was living. They was an adult but still living as a child. So yeah, this is why it's touchy. And this is why I'm going to continue to do what I, what I do. And I'm never going to forget why I'm doing what I do. Point blank period. Whoever like it, like it. Whoever don't, oh well. Because me and my higher power knows the real reason why I do this. And Robert Hampton, I stand 10 toes behind you. Definitely, definitely after this one. Daddy, I always love you. I feel like innocent children should be left out of it. And... So you feel like innocent children should be left out of it. So this is what your mistress slash gay now had to say to Robert Hampton, your husband, which is the father of Amora and the reason and the per basically. So y'all get the picture and get the point. So I'm going to read this off. I've done everything from call him out. Call him out his name to play with his his daughter, but children is off limits. In his face, and he sees me in person and don't move a muscle. That goes to show that goes to show no smoke wanted. Any real father would do something. Rules rules out the window. Peace, God. I'm out here. First of all, gay now, that's where you went wrong. Every real father, do you not see people dying every day just from being innocent or trying to prove they point do you not see people get railroaded like that all the time so honestly what this man is doing he's doing the right thing but honestly if it was me in this situation and i'm gonna be so real my anger because i'm not all the way healed yet i'm not all the way saved yet because i'm half joke i'm half holy and half whoop a nigga's ass when it's necessary Point blank period and I'm trying to balance that out <laughs> I'm literally trying to balance that out Because I really want to change for the best for me My mental, my kids and my husband and my family But off of that Point blank period He should have beat your ass But what he's doing, he's being He's being a man, he's being a grown man He's not being an immature person And the, and the dirt that you are And the jerk that you are Point blank period. He's handling things the right way. And he's going to win. And he's going to win. And he's going to continue to collect his evidence. Because at the end of the day, y'all mad childish. I wouldn't trust y'all. 
If my life depended on it, no matter how much I want to see my child, I know that y'all can cause me havoc. Somebody could just pull a trigger and pull out a gun or just stab me or do whatever. He don't and, and allow him to not be around his kids forever, forever. So he's doing the right things. He's going down the, the chain of commandments, down the protocols. He's doing everything that he's supposed to be doing. And that's necessary. So ain't no pussy, ain't no nothing about that. Because when you got kids, it's no longer about being pussy. It's about thinking, what can I do to stay with my kid and stay around my kid as long as possible? <laughs> but let's get to it. So then, on top of that, Brie done posted heavy on that period. So she put heavy on somebody. She um, she basically shared somebody's status. Um, Brie um Winfrey. It says heavy on teaching my child that if someone if someone wanted to see you, they would. If someone wanted to pick you up and spend time, they would. If someone loves you, you will know. My child would never have to beg for a relationship with anybody, daddy, grandmas, aunties, whatever, etc. But first of all, let me tell you something. I used to say the same thing until I was put in that situation. Okay? At the end of the day, he's doing what he's supposed to do. At the end of the day, ain't no more street nothing. Ain't no more... Ain't no more hood, nothing. Ain't no more nothing. This is about my kid. If I decide to want to come see you, look how this man been threatening him. Look how she's been threatening him. Look how they've been threatening him point blank, period, together. So even though it's sacrificing his daughter at this time, in the long run, this time that he missed and sacrificed with his daughter shall pay off. But he's doing the right thing so he can still be around for his daughter because he don't understand or he don't even know what you guys are even capable at this point. Because Jezebel, you're very much capable of anything at this point. So yeah, he has to protect himself. He has to protect his life. He has to protect his existence. So miss us with the bullshit. Y'all caused this. You want to scream single mother, single mother, single mother. So now that's what you got. Huh. Huh. But a nigga didn't what? But a nigga ha ha should have what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Monkeys where? Huh? Okay, let's go. And then the first, the first argument that you guys get in, this is what your mistress decide that he want to post and put up. Good career, no kids, good bag, good credit, no kids, on home. No kids two times. He don't care about your kids. He don't care about you. What he cares about is his living. What he cares about is his persona. What he cares about is him, point blank, period. Nobody else and what he could get out of this whole situation. And the clout, and because he loves the drama. Baby girl, if you don't hurry up and wake up for the sake of your kids... Not just you living out here like a Tatiana, like you a thought. No, you didn't only have one kid where you could have a rest. You got three of them, baby girl. You got three of them. So it's time to put sit yourself down, park it, and be a mom. And be a mom and not worry about no relationships. But like, share, and subscribe. I'm off this till next videos.